What's up, everybody? Thanks for clicking this video. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Simon Hill. If you're watching this video, you're no stranger to my channel. Don't need to introduce myself, but I will briefly. I'm a black American, YouTuber, traveler, Muslim, friend to the third world. I try to show positive lights to countries that I travel to on this nascent travel vlog that I'm starting. I'm filming this video in Barat, Albania, and I was out on a nice stroll with my wife trying to enjoy this city on this last day that we're here before we head to Valore. Before coming outside on this glorious evening, I released a video on my channel titled, What is the most racist city I've ever traveled to? Spoiler alert, it's Duras, Albania but go check that video out. Barat is the third city that I've visited here in Albania. And you know, we have a saying in America, three times a charm, three times proves that something is probably right. And I was holding back on saying this because I try not to judge a book by its cover, a book by one individual, a book by its city, whatever, however you wanna say it. But I have to say this now, Albania is by far the most racist country I've ever visited. It is the most hateful to black people, period. And this time, I don't even have to say what happened because this time I'm gonna let my wife tell the story. So we were walking and we went into this inner part of the city that is not the Mangalem, not the old city, not the touristic part at least, more a local part. And we were walking and across the road, they were 20 years old guys. They started saying Zenji, Zenji, and I'm sorry for saying it, but that's the word that we also have in Turkish uh, that is a slur word for a black people that we use and we shouldn't use that. And they started saying something similar to that or the same word. And I flipped them off again because that's like my automatic response now and then Simon said no no don't do that let's go ahead and talk to them and we cross the street and we try talking to them and while we're walking towards them they're laughing and they're still saying like the same thing and then we go ahead and Simon is like hey hello how are you like we just want to talk and then he Simon takes out his camera and instantly they run like cockroaches. One of them even like left his slipper that they run that fast that they that he left his slipper. One of them went outside, they left their phones and their cash and everything on the table. And they were like laughing though, still running. And there was another old guy that kept on saying like, no, 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 to us without any reason none of them i guess it spoke english i don't know but yeah that's basically what happened we asked the old guy like can you invite him like can you call him so we can talk to them he wouldn't he didn't let us go inside the cafe either so yeah all of them just ran away and the other guy just kind of uh, stopped us from going inside and that's basically what happened so just to explain the word, the Z word that they use here and they use in Turkey and maybe a couple of other countries that have similar languages to Turkish, it's wrong to use because it is it drives from the word zincir, which means uh, chains. And that obviously has ties to slavery and uh, all of that stuff that happened. So yeah, it is definitely wrong to use it. Turkish people use it still to this day. Most of them like uh, still think it's okay, but it's not, it's not okay. And that's a word that we should not use at all. It's the same word with the N word. It's basically saying the N word and yeah. So as a Turkish person, um, I know, and also I have a, you know, black husband, so I can relate to her, him. At least I try to relate to him. So I just want to say that black people do not want to be called anything like that, especially because it relates to slavery and it relates to chains and it's humiliating and it's not okay for us to say that. And it shouldn't be our decision to decide whether it's okay to say that or not, because they just don't want to be called that. And I'm sure everyone can understand that if you do not want to be called something or if you do not want to be referred as something, then you shouldn't. And that's that. That's that. Please do not question it. 
for any people who are gonna write excuses in the comments, don't. Just don't. Just don't use the word. It's fine. You're not gonna die. Thank you, boo. I love you. I love you too. So, once again, racism pops up in Albania. Similar to the situation that happened in Duras not that long ago where I was called the N-word right to my face on the beach. This is a situation where I didn't even hear it. My wife heard it. She has no reason to lie, no reason to instigate a situation like this. And if you still don't believe me that this happened, I will play the video of the ending part of that conversation with the two guys who called me the Z word, Zenchi or Genchi, whatever you say in Albanian, here, right now. Stay tuned. Oh. What were you saying? <laughs> oh no, wait, what were you saying? Nothing? They weren't saying nothing? Could you tell me what they were saying? No? It's good? We're here with, we're sitting down at the table now with these two Albanian guys left their phones. And uh, Acti, do you want to say what they happened to say? They said the Z word. You want me to say it? Yeah, sure, go ahead. <laughs> they said like something similar to Zenji, which is what we use in, okay. in Turkey. Uh, as a racial slur. Uh, can you tell your guy to come out? <laughs> they called me a racial slur. They can tell your man to come out. Why not tell him to come out? It's okay. Call him. He can call out and take it. Acti, 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 come on. <laughs> come on. So as you saw in the video, these big, bad Albanians that the whole world is worried about, that the whole world thinks are big, tough, big dick gangsters, they're pussy. They're pussy as soon as they see a camera. As soon as I tried to have a conversation with you, young man, about why you decided to call me a racial slur, you run away from the table and leave your cell phone, your cash, your own slippers, running out of your own shoes. Albanian men, when faced with black men, are pussy period. I might be saying some things because I'm a bit hot right now, but listen, the point is this. If number one, these young men did not mean that in an offensive term, why didn't they just say that to me when I came up to him? Why didn't they try to shake my hand, smile, laugh, that sort of thing? Why? They did that because they wanted to cause offense. They thought it was funny to say racial slurs, anti-black racial slurs to a black person who was minding his own business, not bothering anybody. Secondly, I've been getting in my comments for the past few weeks that people in Albania say the N-word or anti-black racial slurs because they heard it in rap songs. I only speak English. I'm a former rapper myself. I've been listening to hip hop all my life. Never once in my life have I heard a rapper say Zenchi, Genchi, any of these Turkish words or Albanian words that are racial slurs for black people. Thirdly, for anybody who's going to say, well, you didn't hear exactly what you wanted to hear, or maybe they didn't even say that word about black people. My wife is Turkish. She speaks Turkish as her first language. She knew exactly what she heard when they said it. And who would be yelling words across the street at two people who obviously look like tourists with my black ass here in Albania, <laughs> who would be saying that? Why would they be yelling across the street? Listen, I could rant and rave about this all night, but I don't let racism defeat me. What I will do is this, continue to talk about my experiences as a black person, not only in Albania, but across the world, continue pointing out all the times people have called me racial slurs and have done hateful, bigoted things to me as a black person here in Albania. I will continue to put out my content, speak about it, monetize it, grow my channel, and make more money off of the backs of you racist cracker motherfuckers. But like I said at the beginning of the video, and like I'll say now, Third time's a charm. Albania is by far, by far the most racist country I've ever gone to in the world. I've been called racial slurs in every city I've gone to. I've been videotaped by old Karens at supermarkets. I've had pussy ass Albanian men when I just walk up to them like this and say, hey, how are you doing, young man? They run away after they say racial slurs to me. <laughs> Listen, this is by far, by far, the most racist country in the world, period. Now, as a leftist, as somebody who understands that capitalism has made many people across the world poor, ignorant, and destitute, and as I stand in a country where the average wage for a young men of their age, 20 and up, is about 400 or 500 euros a month, and meanwhile, everything in Albania is expensive as hell, 
and many Albanian men have to flee to different parts of Europe and across the world to try to make money to feed themselves and their families. I understand that poverty can make a lot of people ignorant, but I will never use poverty as an excuse for ignorance or hate. I've been poor all my life and I don't run around when I see Jewish people saying the K word. You thought I was gonna say it. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I've been poor all my life. I'm poor right now and I don't hate people. I don't say slurs to people to make myself feel better because I got empty pockets. That's what I have to say. So fuck those guys. I'm gonna go and live my life, be with my wife and have a good time here in Barat, Albania. But fuck the racists in Albania. Most racist country in the world, hands down, hands down. Ain't it a shame? It is very, very much so a shame. It's a shame. It's a Muslim country too. A big Muslim country and they got hate for black people. Ain't that a goddamn shame.